<laughs> Nobody can hear us? No, I had you guys muted still. I forgot to unmute you from our private talks. Um, so yeah, again, oh my Uber God. Bandit, say hello. Hello, stream. And Uncas, say hello. What's up? And Leah, say hello. Hello. And Whiplow, say hello. Hello. So that's us. Um, and I'm going to try not to mess anything else up this evening because I am off to a staggering start. So that being said, I was going to, I might as well get this out of the way too, I was trying to get Tiggles in here so that he would have a uh, fair representation, but uh, for whatever reason I can't get a hold of him in game or by private message, and so contrary to popular belief, those are the only ways I have to contact him. So he will not have fair representation, which means expect Whiplow to be bashing on him just completely uncontested for most of this. I gotta say, I'm here in Phil the Bone, and without even saying anything, somebody wants a pearl necklace. <laughs> pearl necklace. He says, have any pearl necklaces, Wimp? <laughs> uh, people come to me for my pearl necklace. I'm telling you, people's champ right here. People's champ. So I work for the people. We, we might as well get right into that. Whiplow, can you tell us a little bit about how this uh, this friendly competition, because I think you could get in trouble for actually warring people on Twitch. So we're going to say this friendly competition between you and Tiggles. Can you tell me how it started? Well, how it started was when I started playing the on the P99 server, I noticed that he was always getting like hella views. So that's when I started to Twitch. I think I started at level one, and I just wanted to, that was my goal, is to be the number one streamer. But since he's advertising that he's the number one streamer and the best, uh, and the best guild, best streamer, and best everything, I think it's time for him to go down. There's no need for him no more. He's just, he's just the old man of the P99 server. Nobody wants no more. It's time for him to make way for the future. Yep. That's what you're saying. I like it. I like it. Uh, do you think Tiggles is not here tonight because he is afraid of the uh, of what the future brings? He's very afraid. I think he's afraid of the truth. He's no longer wanted. <laughs> uh, he's not ready. I'm telling you. Just showing... Not showing up is showing that he's... He's not ready for the seat of power. He's just not ready for it. He's not ready for the people's champ. No. He's a, he basically needs to get off of it, and someone else needs to take over. So. And so here you are. Yep, I'm here. You sound like such a leader right now, Wimplo. <laughs> I'm getting inspired. So, I hope I'm trying to do my Braveheart speech right now. Uh. Trying, trying to see if it works. <laughs> Oh, you said you started streaming about level one? Yes, I started streaming the first day I played, and ever since I've been streaming every single day while I play, and now I'm level 55. How long ago in real people time was that? I'm guessing like two months ago. Okay. Right. And how have your... Uh... What games all do you stream? Are you pretty much just EQ, or are you streaming other things as well? Well, when I actually first started streaming, it was a game called Entropia Universe. Mm. And I did that, um, I don't know, for about three, four months. And then I just decided to play EverQuest again. And I wanted to play like on a projected server, or what do you call them? I don't know. It's sort of the that starts at the first one and it goes all the way to the twentieth progression. Progression, sir. I wanted to play on that, but I always got on too late. Mm. So, you know, I was never sorry to cut you off. I was never a fan of the progression servers just because they were bullshit. Like it's not like you got actual classic. You got what they revamped and what they changed up to a certain point. And I just I felt it was not a. Uh, I played Classic. I started in October of 99, and it just, 
the progression servers were not a recreation of Classic. You know, I have to say, uh, my character name is supposed to be Wimp Low, but someone took it, and now that I think about it, I think it was actually me. Is it a <laughs> is it a level four barbarian shaman? Uh, it's a level four something. If it's a a barbarian, because I remember that's when I quit. I went all the way to level four, below ten, and I quit because my character was running ultra godlike speed. And it just pissed me off, so I quit. <laughs> so for anybody whose character runs at ultra godlike speed, uh, we have a thread on the message board at www.project1999.org with a fix. It's usually a uh, dual or quad core issue. Um, so Whiplo, to answer your question, hold on. Yes, he is a level 4 shaman, probably also a barbarian. Uh, with load. I'm going to send you the name of the account. I'm pretty sure it's your account, too. Yeah, it probably is. It would be something like Wimplo, Magus the Cat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, yes. Oh, no. <laughs> yep, that is my my account. <laughs> Hold on, buddy. I can help you. I'm pretty um, sure I know the password. Don't don't send the password. <laughs> I'm not gonna send. I don't have access to passwords. Okay, but yeah, that is my account. That means I should delete the character. No, 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 no. Don't log him in. S stay off him. All right. <laughs> but that was funny. <laughs> um. So these comments. I made that character years ago. Oh, did you now? Yeah, probably like five years ago. You know I can look up exactly when you made him. That's you when I officially created, started the 29th. You created this character on Sunday, June 20th, 2010 at 310 and 51 seconds p.m. Oh, I guess three years ago, whoa. And you have three hours and 32 minutes, or 12,720 seconds played. Well, I guess I quit within three hours of playing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, our poor server was not doing so well three years ago. <laughs> when did the server come online? Um... The very beginning of 2010, I want to say. I was actually working on staff for another server when P99 launched. Oh, that means I must have played right when it came out. Yeah, you came to the server when it was probably like three or four months old. Wow, that's crazy. And then you fucking quit. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> three hours later. So, I'm telling you, the running speed, it really was annoying. I couldn't do squat. Alright, long serve. Why? What zone are you in, Whiplo? Fill the bone at the new ramp. You're on Whiplo? Yeah. Alright, I'll be right there. Um, so, so yeah, we will let you uh, deal with that. Is there, oh, I want to ask you also, um, other than the issue you had three years ago with the, the crazy fast, um, We'll say since you've come back on this recent character, what uh, what is your your like what do you what's something that you're really impressed with by the server and what's something that you absolutely hate about the server? Well, I'm really surprised there's this many people that are playing on the server. It's really cool that everywhere you go, since once you start playing at level one, there's already like ten, twenty people in the noob zones. Yeah, which I wasn't is expecting cool. that. My whole reason of making a necromancer was because I thought that nobody would be playing. So I wanted to solo all the way to 60. Right, That's right, right. Like elite class or anything. And things that I'm hoping to change or wanting to change is something about, uh, like, AAs. I really wish we had some AAs or something. That was so fun for me, like in Luckland. I wish it went a little farther after Velius. Oh, man, we're not even in Velius yet. <laughs> yeah, I know. If your only complaint at this point is AAs, I Yeah, I really wish it was there, but Are I gotta say... Hey, 
Are you fighting anything right now? No. All right, hold on. Where the hell are you? I'm at Stay. Newbridge. Halt. <clears throat> the. I know I'm guildless and all. I'm gonna probably be guildless for a long time. Guildless is better for me, because. Oh shit. Don't worry, I did that. Oh. Guildless is better for me because, um, if you've noticed, I try to really not have people in guilds on my stream. Because uh -huh. there's less uh, favoritism, corruption, blah, blah, blah. If I keep it to new players and guildless players, for the most part, they, uh, they can't see Oh, anything. no way! No way! That's awesome! <laughs> Oh, jeez. I'm a happy camper right now. Oh, god damn it. It won't let me bake your last name, 559. Oh, it shows I have no friends. Oh, yeah. You have to go into your EQ folder and find the file for Whiplode, and then copy his friend list into the character file for Whiplode. Oh, my God. This is cool. Because your friends and your whole uh, UI is based on the character, not your actual computer. Very nice. This is the name I actually was looking for. I didn't even know it was my character. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm happy that I could make you happy, sir. So let me take myself to CS Home where I can't be bothered. And, so yeah, that is... Uh, that is Whiplo. His his stream channel is twitch.tv slash W-I-M-P-L-O-559. I'm sure he will throw a link in the chat if he really cares. Um, that I'll do I, it. Yeah, good. Do that because I was going to, but I'm just not doing it. Um, and so let us move on to the lovely Leah Six. Leah, but she streams at Leah6. It's TV slash Leah6. Throw a link in the chat for to find people. Sure. So that they can know all about your channel. That is my channel. I just linked it in the chat. All I do is really listen to music, and I have a Rogue level 57, which I don't really get to play that much anymore. Um, I don't know. I could be wrong on this. I could be mixing you up with somebody, but I'm pretty sure it's you. There is a player that Rogan absolutely loves the music they play. When yeah, they, that's me. That's well, you. I thought it was you. Yeah, I used to. All I do is listen to music, and he used to come in my stream every single day when uh, I streamed every single day. And then I don't know, real life. I had to quit for a little bit, and I haven't seen him in my stream in a little while. Okay, since you did that and stop giving him music to code to. We are too late, two weeks late on the patch. And he oh, oh my fault. <laughs> you are single-handedly breaking the server. Shit. Well, so I guess I'll just have to stream more. You need to stream more. Um, and you need that. to keep playing the music. I yep. also know that there were times where you weren't online and he had to look for, like, I'm pretty sure he had to look for, like, highlights or past broadcasts to find your music and just have it in the background. Oh, that's awesome. Well, I'm glad so. that he likes my music because mm -hmm. that's like all I do is play this game and listen to music when I'm not working. So that kind of leads into my, my next question. What other, do you stream or play any other games or? Mm, I've played every single MMO under the sun, I think, but I find myself having a lot more fun playing EverQuest than anything else. Like. Most recently, I played Terra Online and, let's see, Star Wars. Um, I really like the PvP in both of those games. That's one thing I miss. No PvP on the blue server. So you mentioned Star Wars PvP. Yeah, I loved PvP in Star Wars. I played a Merc Healer bodyguard. So fun. Pretty much unkillable. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I played a Sith Marauder. And oh, nice. The best part about, like, I played that game for two reasons. I wanted to throw lightsabers at people, and I wanted the uh, that jump to you from just about anywhere thing. And oh, yeah. That's so, so good in Hutball. <laughs> uh, don't even talk to me about Hutball. Hutball's the Dude. stupidest fucking thing. Dude, the whatever. The stupidest thing. 
in the so world. You're just mad because so all the Merculars knock you off. No, no one knocks That's me off because I don't use my there. jump until I need until someone knocks me off because I'm smart. But that being said, that's not PvP. That's that's fucking chaos. That's like rugby with lightsabers. That's ridiculous. I don't know. I had a lot of fun in that one. Just because being a healer, I could go like above or below whoever was carrying and keep them alive forever. Rogan loves Hutball. He thinks Hutball is one of the greatest things ever put on the planet. And he actually, I was watching him stream one day, and uh, he is the reason that I actually reinstalled Star Wars The Old Republic, because... Oh, god damn it. Yeah, but it's free to play now, and it's weird, and you have to actually pay if you want to do more than five Battlegrounds a week or something. Yeah, you have to pay like, if you want to play, but it's free yeah, to play. Yeah, <laughs> it's really weird, so I was just like, screw this, I don't want to level by they myself. They took away how many skills you can have, or crafts, I should say. They took away how many, or limited... I should say limited, not took away. They limited how many crafts you could have from three to two. They limited how many of your companions you can send out and about. Like you said, they limited how many battlegrounds you can yeah. get. Uh, they put, like, I don't know if they made XP slower for free players or if they just made it faster for the people that were paying. But there was an XP difference. Um, like, there was, there was a lot of bullshit. And I felt like... You're really just kind of getting like you, it's it shouldn't be called free to play because you're not getting the whole game for free. It's like yeah. free to try. It's, it's free to it sample, is. yeah. And then if you want to do anything at all, you have to pay. But whatever. Before it was free to play, it was really fun. That's the only other game I really streamed a lot of. And here's, that was... here's my beef with that whole battleground PvP thing. Yeah. I see it as like a Roman like Roman Colosseum gladiator fighting. Which is fun and cool, it's its thing, but it's only really happening in the arena. Whereas, like, EQ PvP, which is where my first MMO everything was, was Val and Zach on live, um, that was like Detroit. Where, anywhere in Detroit, shit can pop off at any time. You don't know who's gonna do it, you don't know when it's gonna happen. And, and that's something I miss. Like, we really don't see that. And I know there were PvP servers in Star Wars where that could happen. But I played that game for... From probably right after launch for three months, four months. Got myself up to 50, was doing different things. And I ran into Jedi in my part of the world probably two times. And the one time we didn't even PvP because the asshole was stupid and... I had, you know, the Marauders have that invis thing where they can just and move for 10 seconds. And he followed me into some herbs, and that was the end of him. Um, I played a lot of Star Wars Old Republic. I was actually in the top guild on my server. I was a tank. Oh, were you? I was a Vanguard tank. Um, I really thought the game was stupid. The raid content, it wasn't ready to be released. It was so bugged. There was no raid content. Yeah, there was. There was a couple stuff. That's not raid content. That's yeah, garbage. it wasn't that great, that was but garbage. it was so bugged to hell that... Yes, don't um, stand in the red circles. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Leah, when did you... How, more importantly, how and when did you find Project 1999? I think I actually have a similar story to Wimplo. Like, I found this server a really long time ago, but I don't think I was ready for EverQuest back then, and there was other games that I was playing, and finally, I think I just got fed up with other games, and was like, fuck it, I'm going to go play some EverQuest Classic. I don't know. About three or four months ago, I started playing. Maybe more. And how did, sorry, how did you find it? Did you say that? Did I miss it? Just uh, just searching, like, classic uh, emulated servers, and this is, like, the only one, so. Yeah. Like, I always wanted to play on a progression server, too, but I like Wimplo, again, like, I just started too late, or the progression was way too fast for my liking, and I just fell behind, and it was just, yeah, more casual now. Uh, I'm going to cut everyone off real quick and just address Shamtop, who seems to be having a little... Uh, temper tantrum in my channel here. Here's the difference between you and him, Shamtop. He had the name on a different account that he owns that was created three years ago. You just want a name change. That's the difference. But moving on, uh, what's something you, uh, 
<laughs> What's something you like about the uh, server? Um, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't met any real jerks yet. Everyone's been really nice so far. So I like the community for the most part. You meet a few here and there, but usually they're from the same guild, oddly enough. Oh, yeah? He thinks he's big time. Hold on. You better tell this guy what's up. I think Ooh. there's a lot of good people on this server. I mean, a lot of them are from back in the day when the game was actually out. And they're all having good time memories. There's some new people, but not very many. Yeah. Some a little. So, aside from the people, are there any, uh... Are there any, I want to say, like, features, like, dev-type features that you... that you came here and were like, oh shit, they have this. Or, oh shit, they took this out. Uh, I don't know. Like, my best memory so far, I don't know if you remember this, but I was like level 42 streaming in Soul B, and you came and turned my whole group into froglocks, and I had never seen a GM or anything. I'd been leveling up, like power leveling, like 12 hours a day for almost weeks and you showed up and we were all exhausted we'd been there for like six seven hours and you frog lock bombed us and i was like oh my god that's the coolest fucking thing ever <laughs> gm just showed up and did that and we it was like i don't know rejuvenation we were there for like three or four more hours xping and it was cool and then after that i saw people getting gnome bombed and frog lock bombed and everything it's cool i do like to uh i do like to bomb people with the frog and yeah <laughs> If I'm keeping people logged into the server longer, then I'm doing my duties. Exactly, that's it. Like, I was like, what a cool dude. He, like, just happened to see my stream and came and frog-locked my whole group, and we were so happy. Like, everyone was like, that's so cool. You gave me an item, too, but I don't want to say anything, because people in the stream are going to cry. Was it a potion? Yeah, it was, like, the coolest po a gnome illusion potion, and I was like, oh, my God. This is so cool. Is that a been... item? That yes. potion? Yes, it is. I have been known to give out potions with uh, yeah. racial You were, charges. like, thanking me for streaming, because back then, I think I was the only streamer, at, or, I don't know, I'd never seen another one. There I started at, like, level 20 or so on my Rogue. There were not many, and uh, I w there was, a, like, a week of time where I was uh, looking into different ways to advertise the server. And so I started looking at YouTube, and I started looking at Twitch, and there were a couple people streaming, and there were a couple people making YouTube videos, and the YouTube peoples, I put like a one charge something, probably frog lock potion on their inventory, and then posted a comment on their video, and uh, with the streamers, I would, if they were online, I would bomb their group or their person, and sometimes toss them a... Uh, a, a little, like, one or five charge potion if they put a smile on my face. So? Circin for the win. Rogan came on the the first time I went to play in the sky and gnome bombed my whole guild. That was kind of cool. Rogan's good people. Wow. Yeah. Everyone seems like good people. Like, I really haven't met any jerks. Like, all, all the GMs that I've encountered have all been super nice. Oh, man. Wait till you get into the, uh, are you, are you, uh, do you partake in the raiding that goes on on this server? Um, the only raiding I've done so far, my main is a 57 rogue. I'm in A team, and we're super duper casual. We only raid oh, one night I, a week. I love your game. Yeah. All we do is, um... All we do is play in the sky once every week, and we do it Sunday nights, and we haven't had enough people in the past, like, month to do anything, so... We haven't oh, really done I, I was doing with you earlier, right? Yeah, we were yeah. doing for a little bit. That was kind of fun. That shit was light blue, though. I wasn't expecting all those ads. I don't know, me either. I was like, fuck this. The XT is not that good anyway. Yeah, I was getting, I, after all that, I got like a quarter of a blue. Wasn't the greatest. <laughs> yeah, whatever. It was worth a shot. I never get XP groups on my Rogue. That's part of the reason I'm playing a Cleric now. I'm actually in... I'm in um, Uncas's group right now. Heck yes. On my on my cleric. Speaking of Uncas. Yeah. No. We have him here. Uh, Hello. He is another streamer. He will throw a link <laughs> in the chat right about now. But you can follow streamer. him at uh, twitch.tv slash Uncas U N C U S two three. 
Uh, part of the reason I'm talking to you guys now, but part of the reason I also say these things is because when I make these into highlights or throw them up on YouTube, the, the, the chat isn't there. So me just saying, hey, link this stuff, and you being like, cool, I did it, that's not going to help anybody. Um, so yes, Uncas, welcome to the channel discussion Thank you. stream, I guess, all of these things. I'm glad to be called a streamer. Because I don't necessarily call myself a streamer. Well, you should start because I hang out on your stream, and if if you do, man, if you're not a streamer, then I don't know what the what I'm doing. <laughs> over there. So um, I'm fairly new to the streaming thing. That's okay. New doesn't matter. New doesn't matter at all. How long have you been streaming, though? I would say probably started about three months ago, ish. I definitely wasn't streaming as much as I am now, but I was streaming like Binding, uh, Binding of Isaac, different <laughs> random games like that. Uh, do you still, like, what are you streaming now? Like, pretty much just EQ just or EQ. not really branching out? I tried streaming some uh, other games I play, and what I noticed is people don't give a shit about what other games I play. Yep. <laughs> except, except Game Dev Tycoon. People fucking love Game Dev Tycoon. I haven't seen that one. Sir, can, I'm going to interject. Nix wants you to drag the little Skype thing that says who's talking at the moment onto the screen. You know what? what? She knows who's talking. I don't want to do that. I actually moved it purposely for this discussion. Oh. Um, but I... After tonight, I'll tell people. I'll start telling people, like, hey, your name shows up, like, in this oh, Skype right, because Skype name. Mm. Yeah, I've got my name on there. You can set to people's custom name, like yourself. That way their actual name doesn't show up. I'm sure other people can. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's better. I don't, uh, I don't need people getting grief for joining my stream, so I'm keeping that bubble on the other monitor tonight. Um... So I've played a lot of Binding of Isaac and Papers, Please. The most viewers I've ever had at one time is playing Papers, Please at like 4 in the morning. I don't even know what to say to that. <laughs> Me either. I had no idea why they they were there. <laughs> oh, I don't even know what that game is. Like, I don't know. No, what, no I've never heard of this game. I'll have to stream it later for, for you. Do it, do it, do it. But I've noticed Uncas gets a lot of people, too. He he's, gets, like, 20 people sometimes. Uncas gets all the bitches. <laughs> i definitely seen him get a lot of people. Half of the time, or half of the viewers that I get is mostly because Kuvani spams my channel in OOC, wherever we are. Yeah, she also plugs the shit out of your channel whenever she's on my stream. Oh, good. It's a mandible. Let's see. So that's I'm all about uh, people advertising the shit out of their shit. So uh, I've tried to advertise, but sometimes I don't get nobody coming to my channel. But oh, my common is about twenty people without advertising. But I've gotten lucky. The highest amount of viewers I've had was like thirty five or forty. Yeah, it it helps when you have multiple people uh, advertising your channel. Like, I I don't advertise, like, what I'm doing tonight. Like, I'm sure we could have more viewers if I did a broadcast in-game that I was doing something. But yeah, I just, like 200 people. <laughs> yeah, I feel it, it would be tacky of me to, uh, to be like, hey, I know you're here to play Classic EQ, but fuck that, join my stream. I just feel that'd be a really tacky thing to do. Anything to do to take down Tiggles. <laughs> I gotta say, too, that the first person I watched stream when I found out about this game a couple months ago was Wimplo. And oh. I was his follower. I didn't even know who Tiggles was until this war started. Um, so Oh, that's what I want to hear. Keep on talking. <laughs> Did Wimplo get you... Into, like, is that how you found out about the server you just said? Uh, no, I started watching him after I found out about it. 
I found out about it through uh, my brother, actually, who found it through mutual friends who just really liked EQ. We all played 10 years ago. Nice, nice, nice. Some Google searching. Yes. That'll do it. That's how I found the emulator back in end of 07. Just yeah. Lots of Google searching. And it was like, what is this? Yep. They told and me about it, and I was like, they're like, you need to come play. It's, it's so much fun, the nostalgia factor. And I told them that I would never <laughs> play this game until I watched them play it once for like five minutes, and then I was already downloading it. <laughs> I joined the server because of Oro Tiago. And oh, yes. Oro that's, Tiago. That's the reason I joined. And then actually I seen him about a week ago. He, he went into my stream and talked a little bit and then left. He disappeared, like, I... But what he told me is that someone hacked his account and took his password. Oh, whatever. Remind me, I'll get to that. Um, That's what what he told me from his own mouth, so... Oh, fuck me, Popovere just logged in and out. Anything other than that, he could be lying, but... Mm. A lot of my streamers or, or viewers tell me that I guess he took, like, hundreds of thousands of platinum from donations from the server, and then he ended up quitting. Yeah, well, hold on. I'll get to I'll bring that. Remind me to get to that in a second. Um, uh, Unkiss, what is your favoritest thing about the server? Or, if you really don't have a favoritest thing, what's been, like, the... I don't know, the best EQ moment for you since you've been back? <laughs> <laughs> Kubani just told me, meeting her, I'm being told. <laughs> All right, I won't get you in trouble, so we'll have that <laughs> answer. No, one, one of the really good things, the reason I actually have stuck around as long as I have was, like other people were saying, just the, the people, like I was going to get very bored of this game very quickly until you actually start grouping with people. Right. And everybody's so cool, and... Like other people have said, also, I do enjoy that you guys, the GMs, are involved and, like, giving people illusions and things like that. I we, think that's pretty fun. We want them to, uh, we want there to be some kind of presence. And it shouldn't always be, like, us smashing heads. You know, we, <clears throat> we want players to know that, like, even if you don't see us or here. Even if there's not a problem going on, we're here. Um, so on, so on, so on. Yeah, I really like that. I think that's neat. You think it's neat? Yep. <laughs> A plus. A plus. We think you're neat. Oh. <laughs> oh, all right. So, going to move on to our final guest. He is... He is somebody who has he has spent more time playing EQ without exceeding level 25 than anybody <laughs> you'll ever meet in your life. Yeah, I heard about this guy. You were frequent, bandit, right? He's a frequent visitor on this channel. <laughs> he's Uber Bandit. Uber no. Bandit 22 on Twitch. Throw your uh, yeah, throw it's your link time in there. It's link there it time. Is. Twitch.tv slash UberBandit22 is where you can find this gentleman. He is an old streamer, I guess, who just started streaming again, maybe? He knows Um, things I don't know about numbers. And say hello. Hi. Good job. Hello. (laughs) I I had the final countdown roll, and I was ready for this, and then then you just blow out my intro. (laughs) (laughs) Thanks, buddy. Um, Yeah, actually, I've started streaming two days ago. Um, I had played with streaming before, but I'm on XP, so I cannot use XBS. Um, but I was sitting on the toilet about two days ago and had this amazing revelation about how I could get all of my sound right on a stream. And since then, everything has been working fine. I actually improved it yesterday so I can um, have Skype conversations as well. Things are on the up and up. Well, that's beautiful. I am actually, uh, why don't you go ahead and tell us a little bit about how you found the server and, uh, why you enjoy streaming the server. 
Right, well, I started playing on the server way back 2011, about when Kunark was released. Uh, found it through... I think I was just trying to find old games that I used to play when I was a kid, because 99, I was like 5, 6 years old, and uh, I played EverQuest with my dad on the Ber talk Ber to on the talk server. For uh, sure, for sure. <laughs> um, and uh, I played a ranger there. And uh, he was a raid level wizard, so I was geared to the nine. So I was Googling around, found P99, started playing. He started playing. Got some characters into the 20s. Was just trying to, you know, get a feel for the game that I really hadn't experienced. I mean, I nearly lost my shit the first time I opened a bag just because that sound coming back to my brain. I was like, <laughs> oh, yeah. I remember this. Did you say that you were on Burtox? Yes. Oh my god, me too. That's crazy. Oh. No way, I was on the text list too. No way! Does, crazy. Does anyone know a Thule by any chance? I don't remember anybody that I knew back oh. then. My, I was playing with my mom, actually. She was in the guild <laughs> called Phantom Raiders, if that rings a bell. I don't know. Oh, Phantom Raiders is the top guild. Of yeah! The Dude, my mom played in that guild. I was like, my mom is so cool. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little jealous. I tried yeah, to I was yeah. like a little kid. I don't remember it anymore. My character's name was VMAG and Speed. Yeah, I was a necromancer, and Turar is my shaman. Nice. So Bantam Raiders and Prophecy were the two big guilds. Yeah. How the hell did this streamer discussion turn into a Bertoxulus? Yeah, <laughs> you're all from there. It's like Bertoxulus unites. Yeah. Oh Jesus. Did you know El Rono? He was in Bantam Raiders. El Rono was uh, my real life friend. I honestly, I wasn't in the guild. My mom was in the guild. She was, oh. like, badass. And, like, I remember yeah. her friends from the guild used to, like, bring their computers over to our house to, like, land party. And I was like, oh, my God, I want to do this so bad. <laughs> it was, like, the coolest thing I ever saw. And I was like, I'm going to be just like you. And I made a ranger just like my mom's friend and ran around and fear-kited animals. And, yeah, that was a long time ago. 13 years old. Yeah, Rack was... Uh... Rack was the the monk. He was the guild leader. He was like extremely buff. Nice. I don't remember any of them. I was like a guildless little noob running around Valius. It was Rack and Brutal. I, I remember a lot about Texas. Texas was the best. I think it was the oldest server. I don't know though. Uh but it is a small world that we are, we're all from the same server. Yeah, that's really weird. That was my first server. I played on other ones, too, though. Oh, Terry my Mar, God. Anybody? Oh, my God. I see Tiggles in the in the chat. Oh, oh my oh, God. Tiggles. Tiggles, I'm ready uh -oh. for battle. <laughs> Guys, is this what you want? This is what you want for your streaming president? Come on. Shows up late. <laughs> Come on. Shows up late and says, Can I join? Can I join? <laughs> I oh, don't know. God damn it. <laughs> that doesn't sound like professionalism at all. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, you were here the forums. Um, um, forums. Forums, Tune. PM me on the forums. But here's the thing. I've already tried to add you on Skype twice, so technically all you should have to do is log in and be like, yes. But PM me on the forums. Maybe you gave me a wrong name, and there's another Tune the Virtuoso on Skype running around. But I'm pretty sure that's you, buddy. I think it's famous he comes comes on late. He's trying to make a uh, like a dramatic entrance, you think? No, I think he was just late. <laughs> Not cool, Tiggles. Well, to be fair, though, to be fair, if it was 9 o'clock Central Time, he would be on time. And my time zone is Central Time. Well, according to my time, he is an hour late. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> you're like, fuck you, Whiplow yeah. time, says he. Yeah. Late. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. I don't know about this Tiggles guy, but if that's what you're wanting for your top streamer on the server, I don't know. Well, I have sent uh, both of them um, the requests. So, Tiggles, if you're listening, I'm going to get you in here in just a second. I have a feeling things might get a little wild once you're here. So, 
I want to wrap up with Uber Bandit real quick. Um, Uber, what is what makes you the happiest? What puts the biggest smile on your face while you are running through the lands of Norath on P99? Uh, shit's classic. <laughs> Shit is classic. <laughs> that like, is. that's the biggest thing is going back taking the time machine back to saying, oh, yeah, fuck, that is how shit worked, and, you know. Right, there are no maps, there are no compass, there are no quest markers, there are no target rings, Mm -hmm. there are no... I mean, it's classic, it's real classic. So, if you hate yourself and you want a challenge, (laughs) www.project1999.org. Well, that brings me to my least favorite thing is... uh... Shit's classic, and Rangers have a uh, 40% hybrid XP penalty till Velius, and when's Velius? <laughs> Only Nilbog knows. I agree, when is Velius, Sirkin? We need insider information. Uh, I'm not, I can't speak about Velius. No! Okay. So, you got But winter is coming, though, right? Um, well, it's getting <laughs> colder the word on the Chicago, street. so. <laughs> that being said, let me see something. Good, I have a private message. And it's probably... Oh, shit, it's from Tiggles. Oh, shit. <laughs> All right, so Toon just doesn't want to join. I don't know. I, he won't accept my friend invites. He won't He won't do anything. So, whatever. All right, let's see if we can get him in. Hello! Am Tiggles. I you on? You are live. You are live. All right. Oh, I'm gonna give you. These people. I'm gonna give you the same treatment I gave everybody else. Um, first and foremost, can you uh, throw your link to your stream in the chat for these fine people so they know where to find you? And could you um, tell me about how long you've been playing? Tell me who you are. Tell me. Tell me how you found the server. All right. You guys want the uh, the long and storied history of Tiggles and why I am uh, the number one player Nobody on cares. P99. <laughs> All right, well, let's start um, Let's start from the beginning. Uh, I can give you an exact date that when I started playing. I started playing in the summer of 2010. Uh, I had found about this server from some friends who uh, were playing a request, and I gave it a shot. Um, I uh, was a lowly mage named Macromere, and I was playing on the server. Oh, time out. Uh, time out. Come on, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Um, <laughs> was Macromere your first character? Macromere was my a very first character. I did not know that. Oh, well, you might, there might be some things that you don't know that, uh, that might be brought to light. I am learning. To, I'm learning things today, but I so, apologize. Continue. The story is, is, I was the lowly mage. This was before the mage nerf, and my goal was to level this mage up AFK, basically, due to their insane no XP penalty nerf and also their shenanigans that were going on back at that time. Um, at that time, though, unfortunately, there was um, a DDoS going on, just like there was a couple more. Uh, Months ago, uh, this time it was much worse because the server was not nearly as popular as it was. And the infrastructure was not nearly there. Right. Um, this is actually, uh, I left the VZTZ box that Sirkin was uh, affiliated with many, uh, probably on the second or third wipe, I think I left the, the box there. And I went over the P99 when that opened up. Mm. Um, so anyway, I'm playing my mage and the server's basically going to shit. And the DDoS is threatening to kill the server permanently. Um, at that time, I had worked for the government as a fraud investigator um, with the FCC. Basically, I would help catch identity thieves and uh, other undesirables that attempted to basically defraud the, uh, the telecommunica- telecommunication companies in the uh, country. Um, so I had offered to help Uthgard... Um, I offered to help Uthgard find this person that was DDoSing the server, um, which I helped uh, a lot, I guess would be, to put it into uh, no some certain stance. And in my uh, gratitude, uh, Rogan and the other GMs 
created Quick Fingers uh, out of thin air, and they made me a level 50 rogue, and that's how Quick Fingers was born. It's a fun fact, until about a couple months ago, Qu uh, Quick Fingers, who's a halfling, uh, did not know um, the halfling language. He actually was a barbarian that was shape-changed into a, a halfling because I wanted a halfling rogue. So I had to have someone teach me the halfling language. I'm going... Is this true? <laughs> It's 100. Oh yeah, it's 100 percent true. Who changed um, you from a barbarian to a halfling? Um, Rogan did. Well, I think Uthgard asked Rogan to do it, and then it was a, uh, and you know, he couldn't create me gear or anything, so he, you know, had a level 50 barbarian, female barbarian rogue, um, which was then turned into Quick Fingers, the halfling rogue. Um, after that, Uthgard um, basically had me run. Secret missions, basically, for the staff. Well, mostly for him. Brogan wasn't really involved, so I don't want to say that Brogan was involved in anything, because he wasn't really. It was more of back alley stuff, which turned into a giant explosion later on. But uh, nice. basically, he had me join TMO to root out cheaters and RMTers. Like, uh, I won't name names. But the general crew that was back then that was, uh, you know, affiliated with the Dodosser and, and trying to do some shady shit. And that's actually how I joined TMO originally. And this is back before they were raiding guild. You know, they were doing plane of fear and shit like that. I, and I remember the the ongoing joke if TMO broke fear yet. Indeed, I was uh, I was in TMO uh, before that time, before even fear was it was broken. So hadn't uh, broke paw yet. Yes, it was hadn't broke paw. <laughs> um, so yeah, Uthgard basically uh, just had me spy on people in the guild. Um, and, you know, we caught some cheaters and some RMTers here and there, and there you go. And I was in there, and then eventually Uthgard exploded. He had mental problems, but I love him. I still talk to him to this day. Um, blah, 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 blah. You know, I, I played at EverQuest, and, you know, killed all the raid content. Uh, I e-dated Amalinda for a while. She went insane. Uh, she started taking money from Glorious Bastards. I broke up with her. He broke up with her, and then now I am just uh, the... You know, best geared rogue or one of the best geared rogues on the server. The end. Do you have an epic? Oh god damn it! I'm fucking around. Muted. Time out. Is it possible, Tiggles, that you are possibly the one driving these people crazy? Who are <laughs> these people? Uthgard, Amalinda, <clears throat> anyone else we don't know about? Well, I've known you for a while, and I think you're pretty sane. Um, I have become really good at hiding how crazy I am. Well, maybe. I might be driving these people insane, though. I, but, you know, I actually think I'm just attracted to insane people, and I, uh, mm. I draw them into myself, so I think... You know, I, I, think, I think the exact opposite about myself. I think crazy people are drawn to me, like I'm a magnet for psychotic. For psychotic. Oh, my, might be the same way. I mean, that might be the fact. Because one yeah. thing I'm attracted to is people who are attracted to me. <laughs> That's a very that is a high ranking quality in a woman for me. <laughs> so, um, also if I could, if I could be so bold as to ask you, give me something that uh, you think is kind of impressive about the P99 server that you can't find on other emulators, and tell me something that uh, is kind of horrible about the P99 experience. <sighs> All right. Well, yes, for it. Uh, the best thing I love about Project 1999 is the fact that it is it has a lot of man hours and a lot of work into it. It's a great collaboration, and it has uh, tons of work done. And the classicness is really is great. You're not going to see this anywhere else. I mean, I played on only really one other emulator, and that was the the VZTZ box in the first three. Mm -hmm. um, thing first three iterations before Gronkus. You know, I donated money to Gronkus, and then he stole the money oh, and God, left to feed, feed his fat girlfriend or whatever the fucking story was. Um, so you're not you're not seeing um, you're not seeing that here so far. Um, no, Gron or uh, Rogan will never steal the box. Yeah, He'll never have. He won't pull a Gronkus and steal the box. And it's it's just fantastic, and uh, you know the amount of work that's put into it is just staggering. And it's uh, I'm truly grateful for all the work that was done uh, on the server. Um, on the flip side, personally, I feel that the people that are in charge of the box 
and the server itself, not you. Of course, you're, you know, a staff member. I feel that the dev team, they, um, I feel that they've been burnt out. I feel that there was a time when they were all really excited, and I feel that there was a time that they really wanted to do this, and I feel that that time has passed. I think Rogan checked out basically when Star Wars came out. He comes in and he does his thing, but you don't see him doing or uh, interacting like he used to. He used to see Serkin all the time, or he used to see Rogan all the time, and everything like that. And he still does his thing. He still clicks the research button. But if he was motivated again, you know, we would see a lot more. And Nilbog, it's hard to get a better grasp on Nilbog because you never talked to Nilbog in the first place. But I feel that he also is kind of put this on a back burner, which is to be expected for a server that is uh, free. I mean, I would never expect anyone to work for free. Um, it's a hobby. But when you have to look at yourself and you have to say, realize I'm not really putting enough work, things that should have been done could have been done by other people, why am I not, you know, passing this on or bringing these new people on, and then of course you have to vet them because you don't want people that are going to be corrupt. But I feel that right. they they're holding on to it for greedy reasons. I think it's hubris. I think that they don't want to give it up and they don't want to bring these new people on because it is their project, and that's why we haven't seen Velius yet. And that's why Velius, from what I've been told, is ninety nine percent done, and it could have been done months and months ago. But for some reason. They're not putting it out, and it's a secret reason, apparently. <clears throat> the reason I feel that it's not is because uh, I just don't feel like they want to have the time to, to put it in and deal with it, honestly. Well, I am not allowed to discuss dev content issues on my stream, but uh, I really wish I was. <laughs> because I feel like I could say things in defense of the devs, but... I've been asked not to, so I won't. Um, that being said, anyone who knows anything about, uh, let's say, Perl, let's say, C-sharp, let's say, SQL, um, and you're interested in doing some dev or content work, you, it, you can absolutely still be a player. Um, you, you don't actually get staff access. You just get the satisfaction of knowing where the test server is and making changes on the test server with Nilbog and helping the server be better. You can talk to him, send him a private message, let him know you're interested in joining the dev team. Um, I know there have been recent additions in the not too just far past. Recently, there have been additions, so uh, always looking for talent there. Contact Nilbog www.project1999.org Tiggles, thank you very much for your fascinating story. I would like to introduce our final guest for this evening. He is also a streamer, but he has a unique pers a, a unique twist, I'll say, because he streams on the Red server. So when he streams, he is endangering his well-being every second that his stream is going. He plays really? the character Toon. <laughs> Say hello. Introduce yourself, sir. Hey, does this mic sound okay? Your mic sounds yep. great. Awesome. I actually, one correction, I don't stream yet. I feel like... Uh, <laughs> You're confusing me with light. Oh, I hate you, Bards. I confuse you and light all the time. Yeah. All the time. And Brodus was telling me about one of you guys earlier. And I'm like, wait, 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 wait. Oh, uh, yeah, that was Why probably... would he do that to his own guild? And he's like, he's not in that guild. What are you talking about? <laughs> so I mix you guys up all the time. All right, well. Yeah, I had my run-in with uh, Ambrotos, I believe, yes, uh, a couple days ago. It was um, it was pretty scary. Oh, uh, it might have been you we were talking about then. <laughs> yeah, it probably was me. Um, the thing. I... Oh, sorry, go ahead. No, go. Go right ahead. I was just going to say, Ambrotus is a fucking tough nut, but but he's a fair nut. As long as you don't, like, don't piss him off. <coughs> oh, really? <laughs> don't piss Ambrotus off. I mean, if you feel that, like, he's wrong or doing something, I guess, really, if you just feel he's wrong, don't argue with him. Just go to the forums and be like, hey, this happened would like to talk about it because 
I don't know if you're familiar with uh, Cast's situation, but Cast is never going to get his characters back because he just will not make nice with Ambrotus. Yeah, that uh, that is a character. Is your Twitch account Alaskan? Alaskan Shriek? I am so sorry. Toon, what is your Twitch name, and where will you be streaming? <laughs> I, I don't have a Twitch. Um, my Twitch name is, uh, let's see. Toon99, right? That's what it is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I no. already forgot. So you will be able to watch him stream when he streams at twitch.tv slash tune 99 red. And I will say that until he starts streaming, he does not have as big a balls as the other bard who streams. Okay, I fair I enough. Said it. I threw it on the table. Fair enough, fair enough. And uh, yeah, that uh, that Ambrotos situation, if you are listening... Wasn't meant to. Uh, wasn't meant to break balls. So uh, let me know. Uh, we'll get a beer or something. Uh, <laughs> I am here for you, sir. <laughs> yeah, favoritism. No favoritism. I mean, oh, uh, I think every- the whole favoritism thing is funny to me. Like every guild I've been in, always feels like the GMs are on the other guild side, and it's pretty. Uh, it's just something I laugh at like all the time. I feel if both guilds are accusing me of favoritism, I'm doing a good job. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> quoting uh, Uthgard on that one. Yeah, that's, what? I mean, I saw an Uthgard post that said that one time, and it was just like, oh my god, like, this guy's in my head, he knows, <laughs> he knew the pain, and um, I had to, I had to keep it alive in my signature. Yeah, it's a good one. Tell me, how is the red server doing? It's uh, it's doing pretty well. We have uh, pr- two com- really uh, strong competing guilds, uh, you know, at the raid scene. Just that that uh, that low level population is hurting. Maybe a tickles can let us know what uh, what that was like. I saw he came to red for a little while. But you, you sent me a tell. Why didn't you Why didn't you ask for some help, man? I um I played. I currently have a I believe he's close to level thirty something, like mid thirties. Uh, unfortunately, once I got into the 30-plus level, um, basically it's just 24-7 grief, um, <laughs> which is really what makes the uh, the red server, it makes it a, a failure, honestly, <laughs> is uh, just like on any other server, you have these people that grief, and there's no sense not a team-based server. You know, you have no way to really... Um, uh, kind of protect yourself. The only person that I had to protect me was uh, some fellow team owned people um, and uh, Abacab, who would who would speed hack and chase away people, which is fun. Um, Abacab, nothing. The no- vigil anti who uses MQ for justice. And- I I got him on uh, on on camera real good, but oh, it doesn't matter. He's, he can. It's Abacab. What are you gonna do? Uh, all right, quick poll. I'm gonna do a quick poll. Tiggles. Good idea, bad idea for the team server. Valius first, then teams. Whiplo, good idea, bad idea for the team server. What about it? I didn't. I wasn't even paying attention. We're opening a teams PvP server. Do you think that's a good idea or a bad idea? Well, I hate PvP, so I think it's horrible. All this right. guy's a non-factor skip. Hey, next. hey, hey, hey. <laughs> uh, Leah, good, bad team server. Definitely good. That is the only way that I will probably even try PvP in EverQuest. Unkiss. Good idea, bad idea. Team server. Sure. We'll take it. <laughs> Ever bandit? Uh, teams after Valius is stabilized. Thank you. And Toon. Good idea, bad idea. Team server. I think it's good, but the way it was announced might have uh, been bad. Just because a lot of people are now waiting for that to come out and they're not playing... You mean you didn't appreciate the Le- the LeBron James reveal style? <laughs> well, uh, the timing is is 